What's going on, everyone? Happy Wednesday to everyone. Hopefully, everyone is doing well, staying safe, healthy. If you had to take a COVID test, hopefully you have tested negative. If you did test positive, I hope you have a full and speedy recovery. If you're sick with something else that's coming up negative for COVID, I hope you get answers, and I hope you get better soon. Time now for the Wednesday edition of the Pandemic Update for Wednesday, January 3rd, 2024. We talk about testing negative and testing positive at the beginning of every video. Well, here's my big reveal. I didn't post this on Twitter yet. I will reveal it now. I tested negative for COVID. But with that being said, I am still definitely sick. I had trouble sleeping last night. I probably woke up like a dozen times. Uh, nauseous. I was actually throwing up this morning. My coughing is actually the normal cough that I would have without this. Maybe at times it's slightly worse than normal. I've had an on and off fever. I've had headache. Uh, chills was my biggest issue last night. I just do not feel myself. I can put it to you that way. And right now, it's negative for COVID. I am, however, going to test again tomorrow for COVID. Because as we all know, false negatives are a real issue. And they really do happen. Could this be flu? I suppose it could be. I had the flu vaccine, so who knows? Breakthrough flu cases? They can happen, though they're not as common as breakthrough COVID cases. And just to be safe, I am masking here at home to keep my parents safe. Alrighty, let's start off with today's pandemic update. First off, GMA's Ginger Z shares before and after photo following illness. It's hard to believe I'm the same person. And for those of you who do not know who Ginger Z is, she's a host on Good Morning America. Take a look at this. This is what I want you to see. Look at this. Here's when she was sick over the Christmas holiday. Her whole family apparently got it. And here's on the right afterwards. Yeah, she clearly looked like she was pretty sick. If I had this mask off right now, I would also look like I'm pretty sick at the moment. There's a lot of mysterious, unexplained illnesses going around right now. Whether they be, uh, it's COVID that's coming up negative on the test, or it's something else. There are a ton of people sick right now. I'm hearing from a ton of people that everyone just knows someone, at least one person, that is sick right now. It's really crazy how bad this post-holiday surge of illnesses, especially COVID, because we're doing close to 1.4 million COVID cases a day just in the United States. And because of that, in New York City, as COVID spikes in New York City, mask mandates return to city hospitals. We're going to take a look at somewhere else where mask mandates are returning in just a bit. A study of 500,000 medical records links viruses to Alzheimer's again and again. We know COVID can cause brain damage and potentially cause Alzheimer's. And hey, other viruses could as well. I want you to see this. This is wastewater levels in the U.S. You can see back in 2022 where the 8.1, the original Omicron wave was. Look at this. Right now, we are coming to the highest wastewater levels in the United States since then. And they are literally going straight up at this point and will continue to go straight up until on or about January 10th. It is a really dangerous time right now. If you feel any symptoms, such as what I'm feeling, please take a COVID test. Please um, mask everywhere you go. It is so important that you can so easily get infected by one of these viruses. All right, taking a look at air qualities across the United States, and you can see here, yeah, there are some yellows showing up in a lot of places. Remember, it is fireplace season, so places where a lot of people are using the fireplaces, you are going to see poor air qualities. Actually, not as bad on the West Coast today, and worse on the East Coast. Go figure. All right, taking a look now, we do want to come over here to Walgreens. And Walgreens this week, the national positivity is 27.5%. The prior week is 26.4%. Difference of op. 1.1%. Total tests, 38,887. The prior week was 37,159. And you can see here, there are many states that have increasing positivity. And here's one where it's really increasing. Oregon. Look at Oregon. 26.3%. The prior week was 16.7%. That's a difference of up 9.6%. Total test, 118 versus 96. And we can actually change this view. Because we want to show you New York. Look at this. New York has one of the highest positivity rates in the nation. 48.6%. Then we come over here to Nevada. 46.2%. Iowa is at 35.9% COVID positivity. And look at Texas. 
24.5 percent how about florida 26.8 percent and we come up here to wyoming 35.3 percent so positivity rates for covid right now are relatively high in a lot of states and you can see here in many places epidemic status is likely growing for covid at this time taking a look now at the latest variants as you know jn.1 dominates at 44.2 percent we'll get a new update on this again on friday all right i have to show you this now 786 ems incidents in philadelphia county yesterday i suspect today is going to be higher why the suburbs have absolutely been slammed with ems calls in fact just a little while ago this was around 12:39 in the afternoon montgomery county pennsylvania had total on the list not by the map the map is lagged on the list 31 ems calls at all simultaneously at once yeah that's that's just not good that, that's a heck of a lot of calls let's do a live look in and see what's going on it is less now finally it's down to 17 it was for the longest time it was over uh, 20 calls for multiple hours and as you saw it peaked at 31 which is just totally ridiculous and you can see here there are several respiratory emergencies let's take a look at what's going on in chester county pennsylvania a little less busy in chester county right now uh, it's montgomery county that's been really bad so far today all right i said there was another area that's doing mask in hospitals again and that is in new jersey flu covid cases rise in new jersey after holidays masks are returning to hospitals so some hospitals in new jersey are starting to require masks again for visitors and people who work there which is a good thing uh, that masks are coming back it's just unfortunate that they have to come back because we've allowed things to get so high speaking of new jersey new jersey hospitalizations they're not doing too well 1380 people in the hospital 68 out of 70 hospitals reporting i would suspect if all hospitals reported this could potentially be over 1400 on a ventilator 38 people are on a ventilator in the icu 137 people are in the icu at this time and discharges 152 discharges in the last 24 hours now some not so good news either new york state 3,511 new cases. You're probably thinking, well, that's less than the other day. It is, but uh, you got to see this. New York State hospitalizations, 3,403. That is a massive increase from yesterday's 2,965. That's almost up over, that's over 400 higher, almost 500 higher. I mean, that's just totally insanity. And take a look at this. Then when we take a look at what's going on with the hospital admissions, look at this. Yes, hospital admissions, 1,774 admissions recorded over the weekend. That is the highest level that we have seen for admissions in New York State since going back to the start of January 2023. And we suspect that there'll be yet one more week next week. I suspect there'll be one more week next week with really high admissions and high increasing hospitalizations. I think at this rate, New York State probably will go over 4,000 COVID hospitalizations during this wave, which that, my friends, is not a good thing. And remember, not all hospitals are checking for COVID at this time. So you can see here, last year, the peak in New York State was 4,350. We'll have to see. Will they pass that peak this year or not? Well, if they continue rising at the rate that they're rising right now, they could pass that peak, but I'm not going to say they will pass that peak. All right, let's see. Did we get an update from Texas yet today? I've been refreshing this. Texas seems to just randomly update when they want to. They're supposed to come in on Wednesdays. Sometimes they don't, and then they end up coming in on Thursday or Friday, and it looks like we did not yet get an update out of Texas. Let's see what's going on in chicago chicago at this time is seeing hospitalizations right now they have 30 COVID hospitalization beds and use is up 3.3 percent emergency room visits is up 2.6 percent mind you this data is still from the previous week this is not the new data yet laboratory confirmed cases 236 deaths down ever so slightly i suspect we will see these numbers go up when we get a new update let's take a look at colorado and see what's going on there see if we got an update yet still showing the previous week's hospitalizations of 205 people 
hospitalized for COVID. And I do suspect that in the coming week, we will see an increase there because wastewater in Colorado at this time is on the rise. All right, taking a look now at what's going on up in Washington State. And again, this data is from last week, but it is important to show. And we will probably have an update on this tomorrow. 11% increase in COVID hospitalizations, 33% increase in influenza, and percent of admissions. These, these are emergency department visits, the first number. The percent of admissions, 25% increase in admissions. They have currently 32 people in the ICU for COVID and 11 people in the ICU for influenza. Alrighty, we will hopefully get some uh, new data from these states in tomorrow. That is all I have for today. If you like the content you see here, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel down below. Hopefully tomorrow when we have an update, hopefully I will be feeling better, but we'll see. Right now, I'm going back to rest because rest is the most important thing you can do with any virus. Even if it's not COVID, make sure you get as much rest as possible. I will see you guys all again next time. Until I see you again next time, stay safe, everyone, and have a fantastic Wednesday afternoon. Thanks for watching.